Well, that's a very good question that I also asked myself before I accepted to take on this job. But uh, honestly, having thought through it, I think that there are new opportunities now. Uh, there are new reasons why the side in Cyprus should not believe that uh, status quo can be maintained for many more years. And there are also new reasons why uh, the economic developments on the island actually are conducive even more so than before to a unified solution. And I'm trying to convince the leaders that uh, it's in their shared interest and there is much more shared gain than individual pain in actually making the necessary concessions in order to achieve something which at the end of the day is in everybody's interest. You're obviously right that uh, there are much more dramatic situations with much more death and suffering elsewhere in the world. But uh, this is one of Europe's frozen conflicts and uh, it affects uh, obviously the people in Cyprus themselves, but also the entire region uh, the, uh, of Europe. Uh, it also has uh, a lot of correlations to what's going on in the Middle East. So I think that if we could uh, tackle this particular issue, it could be one element of good news in an otherwise rather troubled time uh, where we see war in Europe and uh, massive conflicts in the Middle East uh, very close to, to Cyprus. And uh, so if we can go from the stable non-solution that we have today to uh, a real uh, negotiated settlement and a reunification of the island, that could uh, not only be good for the people in Cyprus, but also for the broader region. And for that reason, I feel that there is a lot of support. This is one of the uh, issues in the world uh, that uh, the Security Council remains united about. Uh, there, I've, I've been meeting all the P5 members, for instance, and uh, and all of them support the work that we're doing, uh, trying to work towards uh, uh, reunification. And as I think we all know, uh, that unity cannot be taken for granted uh, these days. And uh, this is why I think that the international support is now ripe. And, uh, and it's important now to also convince the leaders, but also the people on the island, that uh, this is the time to move ahead. Well, I have to say that I feel that me, I personally have been, been well received by both sides and also by the relevant neighboring states, the guarantor states, uh, both the leaders and the broader republic. Um, I'm trying to uh, convince uh, the leaders and actually help work out an, ap an approach to this issue where uh, the, the leaders and their, and, and their uh, societies understand that there is more to gain from a shared solution, that, the, that they actually have a problem that they share, but they can also share the solution and then get rid of their shared problem through collective action. And uh, that requires trust. Uh, some of that trust uh, is lacking today because of uh, uh, mutual grievances from the past and um, uh, when you go to the island you 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 get the sense that uh, there is in many ways too much history for such a small place and if you just pile up all your grievances both sides uh, list is going to be rather long uh, which is why I hope that we can try to get into an atmosphere of looking ahead there's not so much you can do with the past uh, you can understand it and, and, and kind of cherish it and repeat uh, the history lesson, but you can only change the future and now it's time to focus on, uh, on where the country is heading rather than where it came from.